Okay, this is a problem from the USA Math Olympiad. Px is a polynomial of degree n, and it is known that pk equals k over k plus 1, for k equals 0, 1, 2, up to n. And we must find the value of the polynomial at point x equals n plus 1. Okay, so P is a polynomial of degree n, and we have PK equals K over K plus 1. How can we find P n plus 1? Okay, so here is the solution. First, let us find a new polynomial, new polynomial that involves the polynomial px but this new polynomial must have the zeros known to us so we must find such polynomial Now, why do we bother to know the zeros of the polynomial? Remember that knowing the zeros or the roots of a polynomial is the same thing as knowing the polynomial itself. Because if we know the roots, then we can construct the polynomial. Okay, so now let us find the polynomial. Now this is a crucial step here. Notice that k minus k is 0. And then k is equal to k plus 1 times k per k plus 1. And then let us focus for this equation for values of k of 0 up to n. Now then, k per k plus 1 is of course pk. This is pk. So we can define the new polynomial this way. Let qx is the new polynomial, and it is equal to it is equal to x plus one times px minus x. And as you see here, px is of degree n, and we have px times x plus 1, and then minus x. So the degree of qx must be n plus 1. It is of degree n plus 1, and this also means that the maximum number of zeros of this polynomial is n plus 1. And then, based on our crucial step, based on this step here, 
it is clear that we have q0 q1 q2 up to qn is equal to 0 So 0, 1, 2, up to n are the zeros of the qx and they are the only zeros of the polynomial qx. x equals 0, 1, 2, 3, up to n are the only zeros of the polynomial qx. So we have found the polynomial, the new polynomial qx that involves px and with all the zeros known to us so now we can make another equation here qx is equal to x plus 1 times px minus x we know qx because we know the zeros and qx must be equal to some constants c times x times x minus 1 times x minus 2 up to times x minus n. Let us call this equation 1 because we will use this in the solution. Now we have another unknown here that is the constant c so we have two unknowns the px and the constant c so we have to eliminate one in order to find the other one so we want to find the constant c now the crucial step is we plug in x equals minus 1. So we can find c by plugging in x equals minus 1 into the equation because by doing that we can immediately see that x plus 1 will be 0 so 0 times px will be 0 so we don't see any px again when x is equal to minus 1 so we get another equation when x is equal to minus 1 that is minus of minus 1 is equal to c times minus 1 times minus 2 times minus 3 up to times minus of n plus 1 So we have 1 equals c times minus 1 to the power of n plus 1 times n plus 1 factorial. So c is equal to minus 1 to the power of n plus 1 per n plus 1 factorial. So we have found c and now we can find the p n plus 1 let me write the c again here Now another crucial step is we can find the p n plus 1 by plugging in x equals n plus 1 into the equation and also using the c equals minus 1 to the power of n plus 1 per n plus 1 factorial
so we get here n plus 2 times p n plus 1 minus n plus 1 equal to c c is equal to minus 1 to the power of n plus 1 per n plus 1 factorial times n plus 1 and up to 1 and this is just n plus 1 factorial and the next thing is should be easy so we have the right hand side is just equal to minus 1 to the power of n plus 1 and then we add both sides by n plus 1 so we have n plus 2 times p n plus 1 is equal to the right hand side and finally we have p n plus 1 is equal to minus 1 to the power of n plus 1 plus n plus 1 per n plus 2 so the value is minus 1 to the power of n plus 1 plus n plus 1 per n plus 2